This is Paul Anderson again with another tutorial on video analysis. And this time we're actually going to be using a program called Tracker. So I'm going to just open up Tracker here. Um, Tracker is a free piece of software that can be downloaded. I provided the link on my handout. And then also I have some uh, smaller video tutorials in case I go too fast on trying to do this one in particular. So I've got Tracker open now. And I'm going to open up um, a video. So I have to go to import. And I'm going to look for that video that I downloaded from um, the site. And it should be this one right here. And you can see it'll lo load up. And here's my 2D collision one. Now there's some interesting features when it does come to Tracker. I have some uh, tab stops at the bottom here. So this is uh, where I'm going to start my first frame. And you can see I can drag these across. And I'm going to bring it to the point where I'm going to queue up. Let's see. Right about there. Now if I watch this, I can play it. And I'm going to stop it when I get to about there, so we'll drag this tab stop back this direction. So now what it does is it says anytime I go back to the beginning, I can watch those and it'll stop me right within there. So it kind of kind of trims up my video for my analysis portion. I'm now going to go up here to my movie clip itself. So I'm going to go to clip settings. Um, in this one, I'm going to see that the frame times, the start time is at zero second, but the frame rate comes at, at 30 frames a second. So I'm going to readjust that. In this video, I know that I took it at 80 frames a second, so I'm going to just change that. That'll give me a better indication of what's going on. And then I'm going to use another kind of slick feature with Tracker. I'm going to set up a create a mass point. And this is my mass point A. And so I'm going to actually click on that and rename this. And this is going to be um, Puck 1 before my collision. And that's now set. And now I'm going to go to this feature called Auto Tracker. Now, Auto Tracker is nice because what it does is it saves me all the hassle of plotting my points. So now I'm going to go back here to my video and I'm going to select a target. And I'm going to do that by doing a Shift Control and click. So I'll Shift Control, you can see my cursor now changed. And I'm going to now select the leading edge of this puck. And so you can see that what it did is it created a template and a match for it. And what it's going to try to do is track that. Now when I click search, it's going to advance the frames, but I'm going to pause it. I'm going to stop it right before the collision. So I'm going to go ahead and do search. Search. Oh, I lost a little bit of my resolution. I'm going to say accept. Go ahead and accept. Oops. Let's try this again. Let's go back and delete, clear all. We'll redefine what we're going to do. We'll, we'll just take the center of the puck. And let's see if we can expand this out so that we just keep it more in the center. There we go. And now let's try to do a little bit of a search. Now I'm going to just go back here, a couple of frames, because I want to make sure that I keep the frames just before contact. And so there's where I'm not in contact and where I am in contact. So now I'm going to go to delete, and I'm going to delete the later points, and then I'll close this window. And so now I have my track for my first um, puck as it goes across. Now I'm going to create another point mass. 
So I'm going to just do another create. And this is going to be for um, a mass. Change the name. This is going to be puck2. After. And we can close that to set that. Let's go ahead and we can, we can adjust uh, the color just to give us a slightly different color. We'll make this one blue. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll advance ourselves to that point to right before that collision. Okay, so we're back here to this frame. Now again, I'm going to do that whole auto track thing, so I'm just going to turn this on for my auto track, and shift control. And this circle out a little bit. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and do my search. And there's my track as it goes through. Now, what we'll do is we'll back this up and we can actually now place another set of points for the other puck after the collision. Okay. So we'll add another create. A point mass. We'll rename this one. This is going to be puck one after the collision. And we'll give that one another fancy color. Let's give that one a nice green color. Say OK. And we'll cue ourselves back up to the collision point. You can see that this is going to be right at that point where if we go one more frame advance, there we go, we're now after that collision, so we can now do the auto track on this, shift control, click, and expand this out for our auto track, and click search, and so now we have our collisions. that. I'm going to just turn on my uh, trails and I'm going to show all my steps. So now we can actually see what this looks like. So I'll, I'll play it one more time. So there's the two collisions and you can see now our graphs. Now the analysis for this is going to be kind of nice because we can look at it before. You can see that we do get a nice little slope here and this will represent the speed. Oh, we haven't set a coordinate system yet. Alright, I'm going to grab my coordinate system and drag it back to the first point. I'm going to just skew this a little bit to kind of make it line up a little better so that we're more in line. So what I did is I basically set this so that the first puck goes on the X direction. Then we'll be able to get kind of the angles that the other ones go at. Um, so my first one should have an X direction, but our Y direction should look all kind of messy. But that's because we're not, we're trying to show that it's only X direction position. So there is a slope that we can look at. Okay. And if we do a little right click, we can then go down to analyze and we could select this range of data and then do a analysis of a fit and you can see that it's going to give me my parameters. Oh, we haven't set a scale yet. That's why we're not getting good numbers yet. So let's just close that. Um, and for this, we set our scale using a calibration stick. So I'm going to do a new calibration stick and I'm going to drag the end of this calibration stick here to here. And that's going to be defined as uh, four, uh, 0 0.04 for our meters. And now we have everything set, so we can actually do our analysis. Back to analyze, and now we know what our speed is. Now the one downside of Tracker is they don't use the units like 
100 Pro does, but we already know that we defined it as meters, so this represents now the slope of meters per second. We can then uh, look at some of the other pucks, um, so we can go to puck 2 after, and again we see a nice relationship here in the x direction. We're also going to see a nice relationship in the y direction, so in other words we have two dimensions going on here. We can also then look at puck 1 after, and again we should see our x slope and our y slope. So this can allow us to figure out conservation of momentum um, in two dimensions and see if it's conserved. All right, and we'll see you in the next video tutorial.